Kayla, we met over eight years ago, and although I didn't know it at the time, you would be my wife. From there on out, you quickly became my best friend, and after a short two years, I knew that you would be the love of my life. And future wife. <laughs> Zachary. I've loved you for six and a half years, and today I claim all the rest of them. You are the man I prayed for and dreamt of since I was a little girl. I waited for you my entire life, and you are worth every minute. This love is patient, kind, and always pushing one another forward instead of back. It's the love my parents hoped I would find and bless for my future. Your mom and I have said thousands of prayers for you over the years, but the two that stand out as the most important are that you love the Lord and that your relationship with him will continue to grow throughout your life. And the second most important is that you find a man who becomes your husband who also loves the Lord. And I am so happy to stand here today to tell everybody that I see both of those prayers becoming reality in your lives and I just couldn't be happier. Hi, Kayla. Oh, you look beautiful. Kayla! 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 Oh, my God! I promise to stand by you and support your dreams and aspirations. I promise to love you and remain patient, even when you make it hard. <laughs> and I promise to take you to Disney at least once every two years. <laughs> I love you more and more every day, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Till death do us part. It's a pretty big promise. Really, it's probably one of, if not the biggest promises you'll ever make to another person in this life. Till death do us part, I'm with you. You're my person. Where you go, I go. Till death do us part. I vow to build a family of our own beside you with the foundation of the Lord. I vow to love and care for you through better and through worse, through sickness and through health, each and every day. I lastly and most importantly, I vow that these promises would not just be lovely words, but deeply rooted promises established by actions of love. I love you most, Zachary. <laughs> By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel, as symbolized by your solemn vows, planting of a tree, with joining of hands and giving of rings, I declare to you that Zach and Kayla are now husband and wife, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord truly bless your new life together. Amen. Zach, you may kiss your bride. to announce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Zach and Kayla Kaylee. Um, Kayla and Zach said that I had to keep the speech around two minutes. <laughs> it's okay, this won't be longer than their engagement. Which lasted, I calculated this, 982 days. Can we have an applause for that? Okay, we made it. Zach, we've done a lot together these past few years. From going to Philly in fifth grade and then in New York with the band in middle school. There was this one time we were all up to our usual shenanigans. We used to goof off, do whatever, pull pranks all the time. One day, Zach wasn't up to his usual shenanigans. I later learned out Kayla was having a rough day, and he decided to take that day and spend it with Kayla, making her feel better, rather than hanging out with all of his buddies in drumline, goofing off. Zach, I knew you meant it that day.
Hello everyone, I hope you all are having a beautiful day. I'm Kayla's favorite sister and one of her maids of honor. And there are no words that could describe how much my sister means to me. Growing up, Kayla was my teacher. I've always looked up to Kayla and I still do. She's still, she's still teaching me even now. Today she's showing me how to find How to find a best friend, a true lover, and partner all in one person. I know I'm young and have a lot to learn about relationships if my dad ever lets me have a boyfriend. <laughs> but I'm confident in saying that Zach has shown me how a woman should be treated. When I was younger, the thought of my older sister growing up and getting married meant that I'd be losing her. I realize now that I'm gaining another brother. May God be the example for how you love and honor each other, and may you seek Him in all things. He is good, He is faithful, and He will always show you what love truly is. So cheers to a marriage of joy and love.